I think the citizens of Victoria, the taxpayers of Victoria, should be rightly astounded about what has happened with this project. It is not a complicated project. It is a bridge. Bridge are, are refurbished, replaced, built all the time across this province, across this country. What hasn't happened is good, sound fiscal management. Someone who have, should have taken the lead from the very beginning. Recently, when a consultant was hired, it became evident, very apparent, that when the question, basic question was asked, who is in charge, they couldn't find anyone who would step up to the plate. It is the single most important financial project the city has ever undertaken. That being the case, you would expect that the highest political figure would take control and responsibility of this project. Clearly that has not happened. From the very start, this project was in the $40 million per, uh, range. It is now $90 million, edging up towards $100 million. If the money was not originally set aside for that, then where is the extra money needed to complete this bridge going to come from? It is the taxpayers of Victoria, their wallets, their pocketbooks, or it means other services are going to be curtailed. Take your pick. So strong fiscal management could have prevented some of this. It's time though we just get on with making sure that this project does not cost taxpayers any more than what is absolutely necessary.